In this video, we'll balance Na2CO3 plus HCl. Let's count the atoms up. We have two sodiums, one carbon, three oxygens, one hydrogen, and one chlorine. On the product side, one sodium, one carbon, one oxygen here in the water, plus we have two oxygens in the CO2. So that's going to give us three oxygens, two hydrogens, and then we have one chlorine. Let's balance the sodiums first. That should be pretty simple because we have two here and one here. We'll put a coefficient of two. So one times two, that gives us two. And then for the chlorines, we have the one times the two. That gives us two chlorines. At this point, we have the hydrogens and the chlorines. Those aren't balanced. But if we put a two as our coefficient in front of HCl, we have the one times the two. That'll give us two hydrogens. And because this two applies to the whole molecule, one chlorine times two, that'll give us two chlorines, and we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Na2CO3 plus HCl yields NaCl plus H2O plus CO2. Thanks for watching.